What's up guys, this is Nick from Laidlaw's Harley-Davidson and today we're taking a look at the Vinocker jacket from Harley-Davidson. So there's actually a few different varieties of Vinocker. This is the triple vent full leather uh, construction jacket from Harley. And uh, I want to take a look at it today because I think it's, a, uh, it's an interesting jacket in a variety of ways. It's also one that I just am uh, personally into the style of. and. Uh, for those couple of reasons, I wanted to do kind of a deep dive into it. When we review jackets here, we decided that we really want to take a look at three different things. We want to talk about the construction of the jacket. So, you know, how is it finished? Uh, what kind of safety is it going to offer you? And then we like to talk about uh, the fit of the jacket and the finish of the jacket. You know, what is it uh, styled like? How is it going to fit? What body types is it going to work well for? And then finally, uh, the last thing that we like to talk about is going to be, of course, the functionality of the jacket. You know, what features does it have that might be useful to you as a rider? Uh, and what should you be looking for in jackets uh, and uh, to make sure that they suit your needs? So let's go ahead and break down that first topic. So this is a full leather jacket. It's full leather construction. It's not perforated leather. So it's gonna be solid panels of leather. It's gonna be really the safest style, uh, you know, construction that you can get out of a, a jacket. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about the seams ripping because this is, you know, a dedicated leather motorcycle jacket. It's designed for the ride and to protect you in the event that your ride goes in a direction you probably don't want it to go. Um, it isn't perforated, so you're not going to have the kind of airflow through it that you might have for a summer jacket. It's also going to be a heavyweight uh, leather, uh, which is just going to hold up a lot better in a slide than something that more uh, fashion-oriented jackets would have uh, their construction material made out of. So if you're looking for the safest style jacket, this would be the direction that I would point you in. A full leather jacket's gonna offer you the most protection uh, for your riding that you can really uh, get, you can get at any level. Another component of safety is just gonna be armor. So this jacket does have armor pockets in the elbow, the shoulder, and the back, which is awesome. I love to see that. Uh, but unfortunately, it doesn't come with any of those pockets filled with armor uh, from Harley-Davidson. So that means that you have to actually buy armor separately. It's not the end of the world, but at this price point, I would have liked to have seen at least the elbows and the shoulders included. It's pretty rare for back protectors to be included. And to be honest, a lot of people don't like them because they do, uh, you know, obviously protrude a little bit uh, from your back, uh, which is, you know, I think worth the trade-off that you get in safety. But, you know, I'm making my own decisions and you're gonna to have to make your own decision in that department as well. So it could be that you don't like it. So I can't really fault Harley for not including it. Like I said, it's very rare for jacket manufacturers to include out of the box um, you know, back protectors. It does happen, but it's not the norm. But I would say that at this price point, I would expect them to include uh, a elbow protector and a, a shoulder protector just you know, to give that uh, jacket the extra robustness in, a, uh, in an accident. So from here, I'd like to talk a little bit about the fit. This is a size medium here. It fits me exactly how I would expect it. It's not what I would call a slim fit. It's uh, you know somewhere between a slim and a standard fit. You can adjust uh, using the <coughs> buttons included on the jacket, of course, uh, at uh, both the uh, center section of the jacket and closer to the waist. Uh, you can adjust the fit a little bit, which is awesome to see. Oftentimes you'll only have adjustment down here at the bottom, which will kind of pull it together, but won't give you any uh, you know, uh, uh, adjustment up here in the center section of the jacket, which I think is just as important, if not more important than here at the base. In addition, the jacket does have an action back, so that's gonna help with the fit. Uh, you know, if, you know, depending on the riding position of the bike that you're using this on, uh, you're probably going to have your your hands in front of you. You might actually even be in a slight lean if you're on something like the live wire. And uh, the action back really helps prevent the back of your jacket across your shoulders from feeling too tight. Um, and so I like to see that on jackets like this as well. Another factor that's somewhat of a feature but also very much directly related to fit is the inclusion of the second zipper. So Harley loves to do this on those jackets. I'm a big fan of it as well. A lot of Harley's jackets or a lot of Harley's motorcycles are, are upright motorcycles where you're sitting on the bike, very similar to this position here, right? And if you notice, obviously my torso is a lot shorter than it would normally be. When I stand upright, my jacket does come down uh, a bit past of my, my belt. But when I sit down, that's really 
uh, exacerbated, right? And now my jacket's almost halfway down my thigh here. So um, what this allows you to do is zip the jacket up so that when you sit down, instead of the material being bunched up and stuck together, uh, it actually lets it split out a little bit and go down over your thighs, just like you see my jacket's doing right here. And that's gonna make you a lot more comfortable. You're not gonna feel like your jacket's getting pushed up on you, right? Because with a thick leather construction like this, you know, you can actually kind of push up on the jacket and make an impact up here, unlike with a normal kind of fabric jacket. So um, I think this is a really nice inclusion when it comes to fit. You know, some of us have longer or shorter to torsos and I'd say even more important than that, we're all in very different seating positions on our bikes because some of us are on street bobs, some of us are on road kings. And what this does is it lets you adjust the fit of the jacket in a way that makes it more comfortable for when you're sitting on your bike and riding. And with this being pretty directly related to fit and uh, both fit and features, I think it makes a good kind of branching off point to now talk about some of the features of the jacket. So this is the triple vented leather jacket from uh, Harley for the Vinocker line of jackets. And uh, what they mean by that is you've got uh, three series of vents here on the external portion of the jacket that are gonna help flow air through the jacket. You've got uh, one uh, towards the front of the jacket here. You've got one that goes directly underneath the arm uh, and you've got one on the back that helps exhaust air out of the back of the jacket. All of these vents uh, are sealed with uh, zippers that are waterproof, which is really nice to see. Of course, leather does a good, good job of keeping water out, especially if you keep it treated. Harley does have uh, some leather treatments that are gonna help maintain the uh, water resistant nature of leather. Uh, but with the zippers being uh, sealed for water uh, as well, you just get that extra uh, protection against uh, any kind of penetration from rain. So uh, I like to see that on jackets, especially at this price point. It would have been you know, really easy for them to not include that and just say, hey, look, it's a beautiful jacket with a beautiful construction. Um, uh, but giving you the water sealed uh, vented compartments and the water sealed pockets just really does help add that functionality of, of waterproofness to the jacket. I'd still say in heavy, heavy rain, you're probably gonna want something over the exterior of a leather jacket. Um, but oftentimes, you know, we're riding hundreds of miles in a day and the conditions in one area are gonna be very different from another. And if you can tell, it's just gonna be a quick pocket of rain. Having a jacket that's, uh, you know, decently waterproofed like this means that you don't have to stop you know, pull over, get all your rain gear out. You can kind of just know, hey, I'm probably gonna be fine. I can just power through this and uh, get through the other side where the weather is gonna be clear. So uh, I love to see it. It just gives an extra layer of functionality of a jacket like this. And uh, speaking of extra layers, you do of course have an additional thermal liner that comes with the jacket. Uh, this is held in through three snap hook uh, or hoops uh, and at both uh, ends of the sleeves and um, of course, on the uh, sort of neck roll shoulder area of the jacket. It's a, it's a very nicely finished liner, uh, unlike a lot of liners uh, that come with jackets that are sort of an afterthought that uh, feel like you're probably gonna rip it out and just wear a nice hoodie underneath. Uh, this is actually a really nicely finished li liner. It has matching diamond stitch pattern, just like the shoulder here. Uh, it's got uh, uh, vented areas underneath the arms so that you don't build up too much heat in areas where you might actually start to sweat if you were wearing that kind of liner. And it's filled with uh, 3M's Insulate uh, technology, which is uh, a really nice uh, thermal material and it's gonna give you a lot of warmth. Uh, and it's gonna make this jacket into a really kind of a three season jacket. Uh, I'd say that based upon how you see this jacket here, you know, it's one of those jackets that you could wear pretty easily during the winter, uh, depending on how, <laughs> of course, cold your winters are here at uh, uh, Late Laws, we're in Southern California. So uh, our winters are pretty mild. Um, you know, rarely dipping outside of the 40s into the 30s in maybe a very, very cold morning on a few nights so, uh, or a few mornings a, a year. So uh, it's not something that we have to worry about too much, but um, overall, I'd say that this is going to be a good kind of three season, uh, winter, fall, spring. You might be able to stretch it into summer depending on how hot your climate is. Again, it's going to vary on where you're using this jacket. Here in California, I'd usually say that uh, you'd want something with some perforation or some bigger vents across the chest here to get a little bit more airflow, but uh, you know it kind of all depends on uh, your climate. So even though it's pretty subjective, I do wanna talk a little bit about the style of the jacket. I really like the minimalist design that you have here. I think it's really tastefully done. You do of course have the Harley Davidson logo across the chest, but uh, it's raised off in black leather uh, and outlined in, in gray. So it's not uh, in your face. It's definitely something that you could still wear without, you know, 
broadcasting to everyone that it's a motorcycle jacket. You do have some, of course, orange accenting, uh, accenting along the sleeves here, along with the diamond stitch pattern. And uh, overall, I think it's just a really tastefully done jacket. I, I don't have any real complaints about it in the look department. I feel like sometimes Harley goes a little crazy with their branding. They've tried to dial that back in the last couple of years, and I really appreciate uh, them having uh, dialed back and toned down uh, the branding on the jackets. Of course, you know I love the bar and shield as much as, as uh, you know, pretty much anybody else, and uh, I'm a big fan of, of Harley Davidson clothing. Of course, you know I'm repping all of their uh, clothing today, so uh, certainly not uh, afraid of some Harley Davidson logos, but. Sometimes it can be almost a little bit overwhelming uh, because you know, you'll have something on the shoulder, you'll have something on the chest, you'll have something down low on the, uh, the waist of the jacket, then you'll have a big thing across the back. And uh, I'm, I'm of the, the mindset that you know a couple of tastefully done logos here and there goes a long way. It's something you could wear both on and off the bike and that adds some additional functionality to the jacket, uh, some additional value there um, that is not strictly gonna be for when you're riding. So I think that's a, a nice choice on the part of Harley Davidson. So this does accept a Dionysi back protector. I'd highly recommend it if you're doing lots and lots of riding. Uh, back protectors go a long way uh, when it comes to adding additional safety to the jacket. And uh, while I wish that Harley would have included it uh, with the jacket, uh, the back protectors themselves add uh, a fair amount of money and uh, they probably would have had to increase the price of the jacket. And not everyone is as safety focused as I am and there's nothing wrong with that. So. Um, I completely understand why they didn't include it. You can still always you know, buy it on your own afterwards if it's something that you uh, know that you're gonna want. It's available and uh, Dionysia is a large manufacturer so you don't really have to worry about, well, you know, if I buy this jacket, am I gonna be able to find that back protector in a couple of years if I decide I wanna add it? More than likely you will be able to do that just because you know, Dionysia as a brand is, is very large and uh, they try to use their back protectors across a whole wide variety of jackets. So I think it's really smart of Harley to offer um, armor from other companies like that just because you know uh, oftentimes armor gets made specific to a certain jacket if it's included with it uh, and that just means that down the road if you ever wanted to replace that armor for whatever reason you know you're hoping that you can find something on eBay or something so I like that uh, it uses a Dionysi uh, back protector. One thing I didn't mention is that the way the cuffs are set up on this uh, you've got a pretty tight small cuff here so you can get a, uh, an undercuff glove under there, no problem. Uh, you just leave it unzipped, and then once you put your glove on, you zip it up. Uh, but it's also something I like to point out is just that it's small enough to wear a gauntlet over it as well, which definitely helps extend uh, the seasons for which you can ride uh, with this jacket. Uh, I've had multiple jackets with quite, quite large cuffs on them, um, and it's fine for undercuff gloves. Uh, right, but when it gets real cold, you still have air going up into the jacket and you'd like to put a gauntlet over it, but with that large cuff, it just makes it pretty tough to do that. So um, this is my preferred uh, style of cuff, you know, not, uh, uh, you know, not overly large and able to accept both gauntlets and uh, under the cuff style uh, gloves. The jacket has a good number of pockets. You've got, of course, hand warmer pockets on the front. You've got a, a breast pocket here that is, of course, waterproof. And then on the inside of the jacket, You've got additional pockets on either side. You've got one that's zippered and you have one that's a, a, a loose pocket. And these interior pockets are actually mirrored on the, uh, the liner itself, which is nice. Um, that being said, it's one of those liners that uh, doesn't actually zip to the inside of the jacket, meaning that uh, when you unzip your main jacket, your liner is still zipped, which has some pluses and minuses. It means that uh, when you unzip the base layer, like I said before, when you, when you zip the second layer up here, uh, of the leather in order to get a, a more comfortable rod. You're not unzipping your liner at the same time, allowing air in. So I think on this jacket, it makes sense, but it does mean that if you put anything on the inside of the liner pockets, you're gonna be undoing two zippers to get uh, in and out of the jacket. So uh, it's a little bit of a trade-off. I think on a jacket like this, it makes sense to have the liner uh, as a separate piece, especially because the liner itself is finished so nicely that you can honestly take the jacket off when you get to your destination and just wear the liner for some additional warmth. So that's our look at the Vinocker jacket. If you're interested, I'd highly recommend going down to your local Harley Davidson dealer and trying it on. If that's us, please do come on down. Uh, we'll help you get fitted. And uh, you can also, also at the same time check out all the other jackets that we have available. So um, please like, subscribe. Let me know if there's any products that you want us to review in the future, anything specific that I haven't looked at. More than happy to do that. And uh, we can do a, a video of it. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.